Watch this video if you want to know when the best time is to start a strategy. Should you wait one month, six months, a year? How much data should you use to determine when to start that strategy? We're gonna have all the stats in this video. And if you wanna learn more about building and testing automated trading systems the right way, see the links in the description below. This is Jacob, I build and code and test and trade over 40 different trading systems on the live futures markets uh, to get a return for myself. So that's what I do. Let's get started with the stats. So what I did is I built sort of a matrix here with three portfolios. We have portfolio one, two, and three. Each portfolio has a variety of different trading systems trading different markets. Uh, portfolio one is more intraday systems. Portfolio two focuses on stock indices and portfolio three is a fully diversified uh, portfolio. So we have a mix, and, uh, a mix and match of different portfolios. So what I did was uh, I used 2024 as my in sample data. And for example, for the one year, we'll call them B here, what I did was in each portfolio, I found systems that made money over the course of 2024. And if they made money, if they were profitable, I included them for this test, okay? So 2025 was my out of sample. All the results you're seeing here is 2025 year to date uh, results. But to make those decisions on what to trade for 2025, I used 2024 data, okay? So uh, for example, in portfolio one, let's say there was 10 strategies, five of them made money in 2024. So this result here would be those five strategies and how they did for 2025, okay? And I did that for one year, nine months, six months, and four months, basically, you know, a year, three quarters, two quarters, and one quarter. Uh, I could have tested every month. I could have tried, I could have tried, you know, eight months, 10 months, seven months. Uh, maybe let me know in the comments if you guys would like me to test that. But that's what I did. So what you're seeing on the screen is out of sample results from those testing. And then I actually summed up the return of drawdowns, uh, which, are, which is a risk adjusted metric, similar to Calma ratio to find what the best one was. So uh, we tried one year and two of the three portfolios. So portfolio one and three were the best on one year. We got a summarized return of drawdown of 7.58. So if you add all three return of drawdowns uh, together for all the three portfolios, you got that. Nine months, two of the three portfolios did the best. And we got a 7.86 return to drawdown when you summarize them. Six months, only one portfolio was the best and we got a 7.39. And then we did four months, they were all not the first choice, best portfolio and a 5.32 return to drawdown. What the green cells mean is it was the highest return to drawdown for that portfolio. So for portfolio one, uh, one year, nine months and six months, they all tied. Basically all the bots were the same when you looked at those data, except for four months. Uh, for portfolio number two, nine months did the best, had the best return to drawdown at 1.3. And then portfolio three, one year did the best at 0 0.63 return to drawdown. Now, in summary, uh, nine months was the best, was the best amount of time to start trading those strategies live. So that means, you know, a strategy must be running in SIM or have made money in the last nine months to start trading it live. That's going to give you the best risk adjusted return at 7.86. Portfolio three uh, was the only outlier. It did not do best on the nine months. It was better to wait one year. Um, so one year, nine months are, are both really good contestants because both, you know, two of the three portfolios did the best. I did not find a portfolio that, you know, all three portfolios did, did the best in one time frame. Once again, if I tried maybe eight months, 10 months, maybe I would have found some, some more granular results, but the data does tell us that waiting nine months before putting more capital or starting a strategy live does seem to be the sweet spot for the best risk adjusted returns. So, uh, there's also what you could do is instead of actually, you know, running a system nine months in SIM, you could save the last nine months um, outside of your, your testing phase. And then when you're completely done the development of that trading system, then you could test in the last nine months. And if it's, if it's made money, you could start running it live. Um, obviously that would save you a bit of time instead of physically waiting nine months to test the strategy. I know some of the, the newer algo traders here may not want to wait nine months 
Although I think patience is really important. And I've said this many times, the market is always here. So don't rush to, to start trading systems. But you could save nine months in your back test and wait till the end and then run that final back test to make the, the decision if you're going to trade that strategy live or not, or with more capital or not. So yeah, in conclusion, nine months did the best. And you know, you want to use data to make your decisions. Algo trading is, if you want to be successful, you got to be serious about it and you have to use analytics to make that decision um, to kind of back up your claim, your thesis. So this tells us that nine months is the best. Uh, once again, I did not test eight months, 10 months, three months, two months. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more granular months. Maybe I can do that in the future. And let me know if you found this useful for your automated trading systems and if you're gonna implement this. That's the video, have a great week. This is Jacob Amaral and we'll see you next time, bye-bye.